Being chill and relaxed is probably one of the coolest traits that you can develop. Being jittery, nervous, or fidgeting just makes you look worried and insecure. Women want confident and dominant men, and nothing projects that more than a guy that just doesn't care. Because when you stop letting fear and anxiety just cripple you, that's when you can unleash your full potential and become that attractive stud that I know all of you are. So today, in only six steps, I'm gonna show you how you can stop caring about what other people think. Number one, focus. You see, you need to understand that you only have a limited amount of energy. And when you don't see this as a precious commodity, a limited resource, you're gonna be a worried, anxious mess all over the place that is probably just exhausted of the world and life itself. So stop that. You wanna narrow your attention to three to five most important things in your life, like your goals, your family, your health. It can be whatever those important things in your life are and solely pour your energy into those. This leaves less mental energy that you can put on pointless things like constantly thinking, oh my God, what are they thinking of me? That's just background noise while you're on your grind. Number two, you need to understand you're not that important. Yes, I said it. You and I, we're really not that important. The world isn't actually staring at us and judging our every move. While you keep wasting your energy on, OMG, I wonder what they think of me, those same people are probably thinking the same thing as well. In other words, they don't have time to be judging you because just like you, they're probably thinking of their own shortcomings and worrying if other people notice them just like you are. This means that you can instantly become the dominant alpha male in any situation by stopping that worry of constantly thinking everybody's thinking about you and doing what you want. Like number three, wear what you want. A lot of style is opinion based and on this channel, I teach you things that I do and I feel will help you look and feel better. If you hate what I teach or feel uncomfortable wearing the things I show you, you're just gonna look awkward. Therefore, pick and choose what works with you and makes you feel comfortable and confident. For example, my style's not out of the box. I always like to keep things classic and simple because I know that works well and looks best in the long run. When I want to fluff up my style or stand out a bit, I love accessories like my glasses or my bracelets or my necklaces or my watches. This is why I build a whole collection of accessories. I like keeping keeping this pretty simple and then fluffing it up with nice accessories like our sponsor Rose Gold and Black. I've built a whole collection of this stuff because I found that it works with my style, makes me feel good, makes me feel confident. Therefore, I wear what I want. And this is why I recommend it to all of you guys. Rose Gold and Black is such a great brand because they know how to design jewelry perfectly for guys. In other words, they make jewelry that isn't over the top, isn't flashy, or worst of all, isn't tacky. Instead, it's minimally designed, so it works subtly with your style, but it, again, makes you stand out. It doesn't make you look like everybody else. And for those of you who don't know what Rose Gold and Black is, they're a men's accessory brand. Right now, they're solely focusing on bracelets and necklaces that they're constantly popping out new styles, new designs, designs that I can guarantee you probably won't see at H&M or you'll see at Topman. This stuff is pretty unique and that's why I recommend them to you guys. Now if you're the guy that's like me and you love accessories, you want to build your collection so you have options, you can develop your style, then you got to check out Rose Gold and Black. There's going to be that special link down below. Now that link, it's heavily discounted. You don't have to apply a code, you don't have to do anything. You just click that link, go on the site, and you're gonna see a list of my top picks, jewelry that I have in my personal collection, I use all the time, and as soon as you add it to the cart, the discount's already added, so like I said, you don't even have to put in a discount code. And you're gonna be saving a crap load while still looking good. Let me just tell you, nobody else is getting this discount. So if you guys wanna check out our sponsor, Rose Gold and Black, there's gonna be a link down below, go ahead, check it out. Buy at least one bracelet, you're gonna love it. The fourth thing you can do is weigh those opinions. You see, sometimes for you to achieve your goals, certain opinions and certain constructive criticism can be powerful and crucial to help you get there. But be careful, do not take everybody's opinions to heart or even consider them. Think about it. If somebody tells you you're lame or you're doing it all wrong, you're never gonna succeed. Is that same person broke or unsuccessful or unhappy? Then their words should mean nothing to you because they're just a reflection of their failure state. Their advice is coming from a person that is a level next to you or beneath you, and that's not where you're trying to be. So only heed advice from those that are wiser than you or are at that spot that you're trying to go. Number five, don't aim to please everyone. And again, I can tell you that from personal experience. I have millions of followers across the board. Does that mean millions of people love me? No, I would say probably 50% do. Does that phase me? Heck no, because I do what I do because I love it, and I do it for those 50% that actually like it. And I understand, trust me, wanting people to like you and seeking approval that's normal. Wanting it from everyone, that's unrealistic. No matter who you are, whether you're Gandhi, the president, 
or Beyonce. There are people that love them and there are people that hate them. That's just life. And you, you only have two options. A, you either accept it and move on or B, you just let it cripple you under pressure. And finally, number six, you are your own worst enemy. There's a saying that goes that you reap what you sow. What you put in is what you get out. And when you care so much about what people think, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. All that self-doubt, all that insecurity is how you start acting in real life. So now you become this ultra nice guy trying to please everyone, becoming a people pleaser, hoping that they'll like you and won't judge you. But instead, that's when you get walked all over or trampled on from your co-workers or your peers or even worse, that girl you like. So don't fall for that trap. Like I've been telling you all this whole video, forget all that self-doubt, become that alpha male and only focus on your goals and put your energy towards that. Everything else, that's background. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.